Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 73. Inside this video, we will discuss all about model events. So what are model events? Model events are those events which fires when model activates for a specific operation. Just take an example of that. For example, we are developing a CRUD application what we had developed inside last videos. Here we have a list devices section. Also we have the functionality of add device. If we go again list devices, here we have for the update functionality and delete functionality. So inside that CRUD application, we are performing create, update, save and delete functionality. So model events are predefined static methods which is going to track a specific operation of model. Also we call it as the model lifecycle methods. So when we perform create functionality using model, these two events will be by default fires called creating and created. So when we create means before create method, before create operation of any model, creating event will be fired and after create functionality of model created will be fired. When we want to perform update operation by using model, updating operation means updating event will be fired before update method. After update method, updated event will be fired. So in the same case, if we want to delete any specific row by using model, so before deleting, deleting event will be fired and after delete method, deleted event will be fired. So how can we make use of these event methods we will see in a second by using or considering a model. So let's consider this is an example what we had developed inside last videos. So if I back to editor, go inside app, models and here we have called device.php. This is the model by the help of this model actually we are performing all about the CRUD operation of this section. Now if I back to editor, go inside STDP, go inside controllers and here we have device controller. So inside this device controller we are controlling each functionality like listing, create layout, storing data, it means saving data. Here we have so, next we have edit, update and destroy methods. Now inside this device model, we will see that how can we make use of all the model events and see that how model events are useful to track a model status. And also one more thing that model events are also called as model lifecycle methods. Apart from these model events called creating, created, updating, updated, saving, saved, deleting, deleted, we have also other several model events called restored, restoring and so on. So we are going to use make use of few of the methods and see how can we track the model status. So what I will do, if I back to editor, go inside this model and inside this model what I will do, go inside this class, public, we are going to create a static method. So public static function and the function name is something boot. So first of all, we need to call the boot method of this parent model. So what I will do, let's say parent and here we have the boot method. Now inside this method, we are going to use our model events or we will declare our model events. So first of all, let's say that we are going to create this creating and created. So what I will do, back to editor, go here, simply use static keyword, scope resolution operator and if I type, the IntelliSense says that look at here we have creating and created. So first of all, I'm going to use this creating and inside this creating, we need to define a callback. Callback refers to an anonymous function. So let's define here, so function. And inside this function, we need to take the created item and I think that this is not the correct way to define anonymous function. So here it is. 
and now inside this function I will pass the item and this is the item variable which refers that which data actually we are creating by model now inside this anonymous function so for now we are going to make use of log method it means when we create any data by using this model simply creating event will be fired and when it fires we need to actually log a message inside logger so what I will do simply go at the top and first of all we need to import our log module here we have imported now inside this log go here inside this static creating method and what I will do let's say log look here at the IntelliSense so when we pass scope resolution operator here we have different different methods we have alert critical debug emergency error info and so on so we are going to use let's say info and inside this info simply we are going to pass a simple static message let's say creating event fired and simply we are going to print the item what is item item is a variable it means a object we are creating by the help of this device and one more thing when we call this creating method then this log will be logged in our application and the logged information will be saved if we go inside this storage here we have a logs folder and all the logs will be logged inside this liable.log file so currently inside this we have several data so let's delete all the data currently there is no data inside this file so when we call this device model to create any data so before create creating event will be fired and simple log will be logged inside this logger file now next in the same way let's define another event static here we have created and inside this created again we need to define the callback this is item and inside this callback again we are going to use our log we are calling info method and simply this time let's say created event fired and I am concatenating with this item variable now in the same case I will define for the update so let's say static here we have called updating first of all before update operation this event will be fired inside this updating again we need to define a callback method or let's say function so here callback function it will take or we can pass the item it means this is the item actually we are going to update by the help of this device model now again this block simply we are going to use this message and here let's say updating event will be fired now next if I copy pasting it here now the next event will be called called updated this is right now after updating any information now inside this let's say updated next we will define for the delete operations so first of all before delete we will have called deleting so here we have called deleting and after delete we have the another event called deleted so instead of deleting let's say simply deleted and inside this block simply we will type called deleted now if you save all these changes when we back to browser and if we do any cut operation like update delete add so it will log inside our logger file why it will log because for all the operations like create update and delete simply inside these model events we have logged all the informations so if you go here currently if you go inside this file right now there is no information so in the first stage let's click and add device so here let's say that device 110 status is active click on submit device has been created now after performing create functionality 
if I back to editor and look at this level.log file, successfully as we can see that the log has been created. This is creating event fired. It means before create, this is the item actually what we want to create. And here we have created events. It means this item has been created inside our application and the return ID equals to 5. Again, if you go here, let's click on edit or one more time if you go and let's say that this is the device what we are trying to create, status is inactive, click on submit, device has been created, back to editor, look at here, again the log has been maintained. Here we have creating event fired, this item is going to create, created event fired it means item has been created and the returned ID value of that device is equals to 6. Again back to browser, let's do some operation with this update, so edit, I am trying to update this information, click on submit, device has been updated, back to editor and as we can see that two more messages added inside this logo file and this is updating event. It means this is the information what we are going to update. And after updating, updated event fired and this is the information what we have updated. Now in the same, if we go and delete any data, let's say that this is sixth number ID, we are going to delete, OK, device has been deleted. If you go inside this logger file and as we can see that deleting event fired it means before delete and deleted it means after delete operation. So this is all about called model events. By the help of model events actually we can track each status of model that is what actually the model is performing. So right now we had seen for the create methods means if we want to create any data then these two events has fired. When we want to update any data by using model, these two events will be fired. Updating ing it means before operation and et it means after operation. So here we have deleting before delete, deleted it means after delete. So right now inside each of the model events, we simply logged our information inside our logger file. If we want to perform any operations like before delete, if we want to take the backup inside our backup table to maintain the history, so also we can do inside this block. So in our next video, we will see some more concept inside this model events. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.